Check this out. We got 82 feet of RGB LED strip lights. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the MyComlin 25 meter RGB LED strip lights. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product and wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it was packaged right here in a very nice and simple retail box, 25 meters, 82 feet. RGB LED strip lights with Bluetooth app control with your smartphone and it has an included remote control and this features 500 LED lights. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have your customer service card right here followed by your user guide and manual walking you through full product features and setup complete with a QR code to the eHome light app for iOS and Android devices. We can flip it over to the other side too. You can learn more about the product specs. The LED chip is a 5050 RGB, 40,000 hours is the rated lifespan, and they have their customer service and contact information right here for you. Next, you can see we have our LED controller adhesive backing if we wanna use that for mounting our strips. Then we have some more permanent mounting options right here with screws and a couple more clips as well with the sticky back on them. Then you can see our LED controller right here with three button controls on it. We have a QR code. You can see LED controller on the back side with our output and our IR. This is for our remote control. So always point your remote control at this if you wanna use the remote control. Here's our input DC 12 to 24 volt right there. Here's our power plug. Here's the included remote control and you can see all the buttons and controls that we have for it. You have to pull out this plastic tab before you can use it to activate the battery. This does feature your common CR2025 battery. Then we have our two identical light reels right here. Again, 82 feet total, 25 meters between the two. So you can check those out. Wound up pretty tightly. You can also see our connector plug right here for the strip lights. And we have an arrow. You have to line up the arrows on the controller and on the light strip to connect them together. So arrows point towards each other. That's how you connect the strip lights. Also, you can see on here, we have at the back side we have our adhesive backing for these. So we can use um, the adhesive backing if we wanna stick it on a clean, dirt and dust free surface, we can do that. We could also cut the strip lights right there. You can cut it right on the copper connection. Just keep in mind, you'd have to have a special adapter to reattach that. So that's mostly useful. If you have some extra at the end you're not using, you can just cut it off to fit properly. Now let's go ahead, let's plug them in and try them out. So you can see we got the lights plugged in and powered on. We have multiple ways to control them. The first one is we can use the included LED controller. We can also use the included remote control and we can also use the eHome app on our mobile devices. I downloaded the eHome app, you can see it on the screen. This is what you'll be taken to once you download the app. You do not need to create an account or sign in. You'll be at the screen. Your device will automatically connect via Bluetooth in the background, which is really cool, very seamless. So you can just swipe over or select the menu icon in the top left hand corner to view your devices. You can see our device right there was added automatically for us. If you don't see your device, make sure Bluetooth is turned on and refresh your devices. Now we can see all the controls that we have for it. We can swipe over or select the settings gear icon to view our guide, turn shake mode on or off, modify the pin sequence if necessary, and the about section. With shake mode, we can just shake our device and you can see we're able to change the colors, which is fun. So you can see the colors changing right there. Going through a couple of them. Now we can look at the adjustment screen we can see we have the on and off button. We have our color wheel button. So we can look at all the different colors. And then you can see we can change the color wheel. So we can go in and out of it. We can also then view our CCT colors right here. Warmer, cooler, a couple different options. And then we can go to our whites right here. Then at the bottom, you can see towards the middle, we can adjust the brightness. Then we can look at all of our presets again. So you can see those options for the presets. 
Also, you can see we have the RGB values as well. We can select that right there too, and we can adjust those values if you want a custom color. Then we have our classic colors towards the bottom. There you go. Next up, you can see we have our style tab. We have different styles, and we can adjust the speed and the brightness. So here's our gradual colors. We'll cycle through those pretty quickly. A lot of different options. Now we're into the crossfade territory. And again, you can see how fast the fade is right now. We could slow that down. We'll cycle through those too. Now we have strobe. Oh, it's so bright and it flashes very, very quickly at that 100 setting. Plenty of light too, guys, with 25 meters of LED lights. We have 500 LEDs out here, very bright. Then we have our static colors as well. We'll cycle through those. Then we have our jumping change. Let's slow that speed down again. Now seven colors. Now we got our three colors. And we're to our crossfade now. Again, we can really speed that up. Really slow it down. So you can see the speed for zero. Now we bumped it up a little bit and go a lot faster now and all the way back up. And then we're back to our gradual colors right there. So we have a lot of different style options depending on your preference and mood. Then you can see we have a music mode right here and we can play a song. You can see an Island Christmas right now is playing and it's changing the light accordingly to the music. We have other options right here too. We can use those if we want. Then we have our mic mode, which is also a music mode because it's listening to me talk right now and it's changing the lights accordingly. So you can see we have four different options. We have classic, soft, dynamic, and disco. And again, we have that sensitivity to adjust everything right there depending on the music that we're listening to. So let's go ahead, let's try that out with the song. Currently in classic mode. Now we're in soft. Now we're in dynamic. And now we're in disco. Let's bring the sensitivity up to 100 and we're still in disco. Now we're back in dynamic. Now we're in soft. And now we're back in classic. Last but not least, we have our scheduling mode at the bottom right hand corner. We can schedule the lights to come on. We can select a time, hour, minute, AM or PM. Then we can choose the days of the week we want it to repeat. And same thing for scheduling off, hour, minute, AM or PM, and choose the days of the week you want it to repeat. That's how you set your schedule, very simple and straightforward. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after using these lights. First, I wanna say these do not offer the latest and greatest features on the market today. There's no direct customization of the LED chips like you can see with some other competitors that give you that RGBIC technology that gives you that segmented control on the strip light. There's no Wi-Fi controlling. There's no voice assistant integration either, but but here is, you're also not paying for all those features either, and you're getting a massive quantity of LEDs and actual LED strip lights. So 25 meters on the market is huge today. It's a great length at over 82 feet. So just keep that in mind. There are some compromises and trade-offs there. The value for not paying for features you might not even need or use, and you get a ton of length, which could be important to you if you have 
really you know large projects you're trying to light up and cover maybe in your room house studio that sort of thing so with that in mind just keep in mind it does have bluetooth capabilities so you can use it with your ios or android device but there's no wi-fi and there's no voice assistant integration at the moment also i want to point out within the mobile app it covered a lot of settings which was great I'd like to have a little bit more DIY customization for the styles. I think that'd be cool if we could set and create our own styles. Also, I'd like to see a wake up and a sleep mode added to. I know that's a great feature that a lot of you want. So again, maybe with the Wi-Fi version or something down the line, that'll happen. But we do have scheduling. It would just be nice if we had the wake up and the sleep modes added as well. But overall, a solid choice if you need a lot of RGB LED strip lights and you're on a budget. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.